This story originally published in Boiling Point, a weekly newsletter about climate change and the environment. Sign up here to get it in your inbox. Like many Angelinos, I spend a lot of time behind the wheel of my car. I drive from my west side apartment to Dodger Stadium near downtown and farther east to hike in the San Gabriel Mountains. I take the 405 freeway north to the San Fernando Valley to see friends, or occasionally south to the LA. Times office, or to the airport, where I grow my carbon footprint even further. So I couldn't help but consider my own complicity while reading a new study from USC researchers, finding that Angelinos who drive more tend to be exposed to less air pollution, and Angelinos who drive less tend to be exposed to more pollution. It may sound like a paradox, but it's not. It's a function of the racism that shaped this city and its suburbs, and continues to influence our daily lives, and a stark reminder of the need for climate solutions that benefit everyone. My colleague Terry Castleman wrote about the study, which was published in the peer-reviewed journal Urban Studies. The core finding is that for every 1% increase in miles driven to and from work by people who live in a particular part of L County, there's an estimated zero.